guys, welcome back to my channel, Tech Out Diaries. Today, I will be showing you guys another great resource for practicing for technical interviews, and it is by backtobacksoftwareengineering.com. And I decided to try it out a couple of months ago. I got their subscription and everything, and I'm actually really excited to share with you guys and give you the full review on what I think of it and if it would be helpful or not for your technical interview prep. Let's get into it. So first things first, I wanted to show you guys their YouTube channel, which I think is a great way to introduce you guys to what they're about. So they make a lot of different videos on different technical interview questions. Typically, you can find these questions on HackerRank and LeetCode, but what's really cool about what they do is that they make pretty good explanations to all these problems. Most of their videos are around 20 minutes or even longer. So I watched a bunch of their videos before when I was looking for ways to solve some of these problems. And I found that their solutions were pretty thorough and the way that they explained it made a lot of sense to me. So I would definitely say watch some of their YouTube videos and see if you like their style of explaining things. Um, and I just think it's a pretty good way to understand data structure and algorithms better too. And their whole mission is the reason why the founder started back to back software engineering is because he personally went through failing a bunch of these interviews himself and he wanted to be able to help other people pass theirs. So that's definitely what I'm looking for when I'm choosing a course. Somebody who knows the process went through it and knows how to make the process simpler. Okay, so now that we're on their homepage, I just want to give you a quick overview of what their description of the course is. You can sign for the free five day mini course, put it email they sent you these videos why not um so scrolling down you can see that these are the topics that they cover arrays dynamic programming hash tables link list searching sorting basically all the topics that you want they have it and it's really important that they have questions that cover these topics because you don't just want to know one thing and then miss out on testing yourself on the other concepts so it's cool that they have them listed and sorted these questions by topic and then they also have an integrated code editor, which I think is quite important, especially if you're paying for a course. I know a lot of other courses that I've done reviews on, um, some of them, they only have videos, and I just don't think that's enough. If you're just going to watch videos, why not just do it on YouTube where it's free? If you're paying for a course, please get one where you could actually test your test cases, run your code, see if your edge cases pass. Just be able to practice, not just watch somebody else do it for you. Let's see the languages that they have. They have Java, Python, JavaScript, the C languages, and Swift, and they're adding more in the future. Let's look at pricing based on what they have. They have about 170 different questions, and most of them have video lessons included, and the code editor, solutions. They use real questions that have been seen before, and they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So I think that their pricing plan is pretty reasonable. Um, their six-month plan is $59 in total, and the one-year plan is $79 in total. So not bad at all compared to other courses I've seen out there. And let's get into the course so I can show you around. So here is their dashboard, and as you can see, it shows you progress, how many problems out of the 170 have you solved you can also start your favorite questions and let's click on begin so on the problem page on the left hand side you can basically filter it by several things so first you can sort by categories so let's say we want to practice linked lists and we click on it it only shows you the linked list questions which is pretty helpful and then you can also scroll down it tells you where have these questions appeared before at certain companies technical interviews so if you say microsoft it shows you a bunch of questions that have previously appeared by microsoft um, interviewers um, and then difficulty i think that's pretty useful on the right hand side it basically just sorts it by different categories so they have arrays strings etc and you could just go through the different categories they have a bunch of different questions let's just go into one of them so i can show you how they kind of um, set up their questions so that it's easy to learn so on the left hand side they give you a text description of the problem or a description of the topic that we're talking about and on the right hand side we have have a video so since we're talking about time and space complexity there's not really a code editor for this section since it's more conceptual and um, it's something that you just need to know not really something um, that you need to code right now so 
During the video, what I think is pretty cool is that they have these video stoppers that tell you that kind of bookmark each section of the video so you can skip ahead or um, just watch certain sections of it. You can also change the speed here. Let's go to a programming question so I can show you what that looks like. In this question, we can see on the left hand side, we have power of two and then it tells you what that question is. They give you several examples, input, outputs, explanations, and then it tells you constraints, what your solution should do. And then what's also pretty cool is it tells you associated companies. So companies that previously used this question before. On the right hand side, you have this code editor. You can change the um, colors and the backgrounds of it. So that's also pretty cool if you're very into the aesthetics of, um, I guess, your code editor. And then you can also switch languages pretty easily. If you want to choose Java, you can do that. You can choose between, you can switch between different languages and then you can all test these test cases. It, it works with all these languages that they have available. And then you can check your solution. They have solutions in all these different languages as well. So that's also quite interesting. Um, so you can see here that they have the JavaScript solution. They have a Swift solution, Python solution. So I appreciate that because a lot of these other programming courses, some of them, they only have solutions in Java or they only have solutions in Python. So that could be something that you should consider as well because maybe you can code in these different languages, but if you don't know how to figure out and you look at a solution, it's in this language that you don't really know, it's not that helpful. And I understand that they only have one solution and there's multiple ways to do a problem. So in this comment section below, you can also discuss with other people they have people responding to the comments, so um, it's not like the comment section is completely left to the wild. And then here you can mark your progress on a certain question. Now for this particular question, they didn't have a video explanation, probably because it's not too complicated. But if we're looking at some other problem, um, such as check if a number is a palindrome, maybe this one is a little bit tricky to wrap your head around. So they have a video solution to go around with it. And then what happens is that they have a table of contents, just like what I showed you before in the time and space complexity video. You can choose the section that you want to watch. You can skip ahead. They do go into quite a lot of detail in these videos. They explain to you how the question works and then why they got to that solution. All in all, I think that back-to-back -back software engineers is a pretty good resource along with um, leak coding or hackering because they have pretty good video solutions to go along with all their questions. And I appreciate the structure of their course. Not only do they split things up by categories of topics, but they also have their question structure in a way from most basic concepts to the most difficult. Back to back software engineering, they make sure they understand the fundamentals of what that concept even is before moving on to um, more difficult questions. So I do appreciate that. And I think that they are quite good at explaining concepts. I think that's a pretty good resource if you're looking for something that's a little little bit challenging, but still covers the basic concepts. I've tried a lot of programming interview courses at this point, so good to compare them and see which ones you like more. A lot of these questions, they actually are also unlocked for free. So if you don't feel like purchasing their course, they have unlocked a small percentage of them. So just check out their website, see if you enjoy their style of teaching, uh, maybe watch their videos on their YouTube channel. And yeah, good luck with all your interviews and I will see you guys next time. Bye.